with Andy Woodman post-match after the 2-0 win over FC Halifax Town. Andy, that felt like the old Bromley game management, clean sheets. I'm assuming, but you tell me if the, the metric for today was keep the clean sheet work from there. Uh, intensity was the word. Mm. That's what we need more intensity in our game. I think we just got away from that a little bit. So, um, you know, that, that was what we did. I thought early doors from the first minute, we got two corners in two minutes, had a chance to score. Um, and it was a little bit more like us, you know, we kept the back line up um, and, and really done what we're about. You know? So I, I'm, I'm not getting carried away. <laughs> it was a bit more like us, um, but it still took two great strikes for us to break the deadlock, you know, and um, both goals were stunning goals. You made a few changes uh, for this match. Were they injury enforced or changes you just wanted to make? Byron in, uh, Ashley Charles in, a, a fella back <coughs> in, etc. Some on the bench as well who haven't been around for a bit. Yeah, I just thought it was freshening up. I mean, um, look, Byron's my captain and uh, I felt we was conceding one or two goals, you know, so I made a change and guess what? We kept conceding goals. So that wasn't the answer. The, the captain's been brilliant. Um, he showed a real good attitude and desire like I'd expect and... Um, it was time to bring him back in, you know, and he was excellent today. I thought the back line was excellent. I thought, you know, we looked a solid team. I thought Ashley uh, Charles give us give us both sides of the game in the middle of the park. I thought he, he hooked it on when he had to and he, he got it down and tried to play as well. Um, and, yeah, we shook up the bench a little bit, you know. Um, I don't miss many things that people say, and maybe I've been one of, lord to one or two too long, so... Uh, you know, these boys have been chomping at the bit, waiting to get their chance, and, um, you know, that's what we're doing. Corey Whiteley, I mean, we've spoken about him before. He seems to only specialise in um, stunning strikes, another two, another two today. When's he going to get a tap-in? Uh, yeah, the tap-ins <laughs> ones, he's, he's <laughs> with. I mean, look, Corey was great today. He, was, he looked like he was back at Corey of old again. You know, the, the goals were great, but the energy levels of him and Ben uh, were brilliant. I thought Ben added a dimension to his game that I've been asking him to do. The, the sort of the horrible, dirty stuff of the game. He'd done that when he's second balls. So I was really chuffed. And, and, and like, it's easy to stand here and say I'm chuffed when we've won 2-0. But if we'd have come away from that with nothing today, I'd have felt a bit more like that was us. Um, and we got the clean sheet. And if you're going to have any success anyway, you've got to have clean sheets. At half-time, obviously the 1-0 one, uh, one up with a goal just kind of before half-time from Corey. Was there any change in the message or was it... I mean, the team got out of the traps very quickly, um, but was it a kind of, what was the message at halftime? Was it to get at them straight well, away? You probably see in the first half, they, we couldn't really get out too, out of our half too much. You know, they was pinning us back in the corners. There's quite a breeze down the pitch. So the message to the guys is, look, you see what they've done to us in two half time. Let's make sure we pin them in and, and keep uh, the pressure on their back line um, and make sure that something falls to us. I mean, I didn't expect it to fall quite like that and quite as quickly, but brilliant, you know. Um, I, I've got no complaints with the lads. They've been great, you know, and there's been a little bit of panic, I should imagine, round one or two, but we're all right, we're on course, you know. We've got to just make sure now we've got 10 cup finals, and I know people think, well, what after that? Let's just get these 10 games banked off, keep playing like we're playing, and, uh, and, then, and then just take care of our business. That's all we've got to keep doing. And if I know your mantra as I know it, I think you probably would have been best pleased with how you saw out the game um, today. A couple of weeks ago against Dagenham, similarly 2-0 leads, let it slip um, in injury time. But were, how happy were you with just, like I say, game management, just yeah. seeing it out? Well, uh, I will address that Dagenham one because we got an apology for the ref for that, okay. uh, for that free kick that was given. So we didn't see the, the free kick out, but the decision was a pretty poor decision. So... Um, but today I felt we we didn't go running around like headless chickens. We had control of it all. We stayed in our we stayed in our shape um, and limited them to very little, uh, you know, over the whole game, particularly at the end. Um, so so yeah, that, that, that's pleasing because it's it's two nil is a tricky result, you know. Two nil, you give one away and then it's like everything comes in the box. It's a bit of a different five minutes. But I thought the lads were really good, really professional, and. Uh, there's no big celebration in there after. They're focused and they, they know that we've got 10 more games to crack on with. Yeah, and finally, as you say, uh, a lot of the, I don't know if you've seen the results, a lot of the results from the playoff teams went Bromley and Barnet's way, to be fair, um, today. But it doesn't get any easier. Oldham on Tuesday night, they're in fourth or fifth, I think, um, at the time of this interview. 
doesn't, doesn't get any easier. Yeah. I, I think you've answered it there, uh, to be honest, Mash. I mean, look, Dawkins turned over Chesterfield today and, and, and all the bottom teams are, are getting results. So as much as we think, oh, we've got a nice run in or this or that, every game's going to be like right on the knife edge. And uh, we've got to make sure the margins go our way. We've got to make sure we keep the pressure on teams and we've got to make sure we, we keep those zeros you know, at the other end. Um, you know, uh, we can't keep saying the results are going to go for us because they're not at some point, you know, but we've got a target that we've got to hit. And uh, we're, like I say, we're bang on course. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank you.